Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. With this video, we are starting with new programming series which is based upon PostgreSQL. So before going further, let us first discuss about what is database. First of all, what is data? In simple words, data can be fact related to any object in consideration. If we consider a human object, then name, age, height, weight, etc. Anything that can define a person is a data. A data has many formats. It can be text, number, picture, image, file, PDF, etc. That all be considered as data. Now what is database? Databases support storage and manipulation of data. If we have data, we need something to manipulate that data. That's why database come into picture. If you consider an online telephone directory, definitely it is a database because it store people information like numbers, contact details, and we use this telephone directory to find the data. If we consider a social network like Facebook, it contains data about people, their friends, their activities, messages, advertisements and a lot more which is also a database now to manage all of this database we need a system that is called database management system and that's why PostgreSQL come into picture PostgreSQL is a powerful and open source object relational database that uses and extends this SQL language combined with many features that safely store and scale the most complicated data workloads. It supports asset properties. Some of you may not aware of what is asset properties. So let me tell that first. In asset property, A stands for atomicity. It means that either all the instruction follows or neither should be. It must be atomic. C stands for consistency. After performing SQL queries, your data, your database must be consistent. I stands for integrity. Integrity means all the transactions should perform independently. They do not depend on each other. And lastly, D stands for durability, which means reliability. Your database must be durable so you can get the right data now PostgreSQL runs on all the major operating system whether it is windows mac or linux and it is no surprise that PostgreSQL has become the open source relational database of choice for many people and organizations it provides so many of features that nowadays most of the organization uses the PostgreSQL it comes with many features like administrator to protect data integrity and build fault tolerant environment and helps you to manage your data no matter how big or small the data set. Whether your database is small or big, you can use PostgreSQL. We can also extend our database. For example, we can define our own data types, our own custom function and we can even write code from different programming languages without recompiling your database. That means a single database can be used with multiple programming languages. Now this is the main features of the PostgreSQL. First of all data types. It supports most of the data types whether it is integer, float or string or character or where care or every type of database data integrity as I uh, as I told you in data uh, integrity in asset property all the transaction should be performed independently it is a reliable and disaster recovery it also provides supports for recovery security it is secure and extensibility means we can write our own custom function our own data types so this is all about PostgreSQL will discuss the installation process in our next video. Thanks for watching.